Hi everyone. Is it hot, hungry, thirsty? Happy souls, Pooja. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad to welcome Pooja Vedi for our conclave. And uh, we've all known her uh, on the cinema, on the big screen. But she's also now started her own wellness brand, Happy Souls. And uh, rather than me trying to explain it, Pooja, why don't you tell us about your brand? All right. Well, um, let's see. Where do we start? Well, they say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And I am the 18th direct descendant of Guru Nanak Sahib. My grandmother, Frida Bedi, was an ordained Buddhist nun, highest ordained Buddhist nun. There are three books written on my grandmother's life. My grandfather was a healer, energy healer. My um, mother was, of course, very spiritual, very philosoph into philosophy and all that. Thing. So I, I grew up in this world which is very filled with these various alternative sciences, beliefs. Um, and it was all very fascinating to me, but I always questioned how was it true what was this energy healing was there any substance what was the logic science prove it yeah. which is common and i spent about 20 years the last 20 years researching all these different alternative sciences i've done courses diplomas uh, in various whether it's usui reiki corona reiki shamanism heal your life soul temple magnified healing energy sciences neuro linguistic programming behavioral resolutions um, nutritional programming a lo lot of different things past life regression age regression pattern breaking um, and done a lot of diplomas to understand how to weave quantum sciences and alternative sciences and newtonian sciences together and happy soul is essentially a sum total of the 20 years of research and diplomas and certifications so that all of us here who are suffering on some level because you look around you and you see people are unhappy and they want to be happy they just don't know how to be happy so you're turning unhappy souls to happy souls so basically happy soul was born with the intention of putting this information out there in a manner that could be received and used by people to better their lives on an emotional level, mental level, physical level, sexual level, social level, financial level. How do you change your life? Well, Happy Soul was there to give you the tools. Okay, so can you explain the process, I mean, uh, what exactly, how does that translate into, you know... Um, right. So, uh, Happy Soul is first started as a series of workshops that I conducted across the country for Fiki Flow, Y Flow, EO, corporates like Hewlett Packard, Tata, Citibank, etc. Then I grew the dream further with retail stores, wellness retail, took the best retail brands from across the country in food and skincare, hair care, personal care, um, uh, candles, incense, home decor, anything that, that gave us a sense of sustainability, chemical free, because it's very important what we put on our skin, what we inhale, what we, so many people think, oh, I'm having lavender candle for my calm state of mind. But if that lavender is, when the paraffin wax candle is doing you no good, the candle should be soy wax. Incense should be charcoal free, you know. So these little details that people forget and are not aware of. So retail started, my wellness cafe started in Goa. So wellness eating, wellness foods. We're then going to go into wellness product line of our own. We have our own candle and incense we started. We intend to grow the product line. We then intend to go into wellness awards, wellness festivals, and grow the entire health and wellness journey and make a health and wellness portal. I have a health and wellness website which you can go to and access healers and therapists across the country they could be energy healers they could be neuro linguistic programmers they could be life coaches they could be um, psychiatrists they could be psychologists they could be wellness travel wellness retail you know just the world of wellness happy soul is like an, a wellness wonderland where you walk into happy soul you want to be well you have people your products your experiences your travel what do you want to make your life better we give that to you so this is something that now people are talking a lot about post pandemic post covid but clearly you were already on to you saw this coming that people are now uh, do you find them people more receptive uh, as of post covid or was this already something that uh, people were aware of you know i started writing my relationship column heart chakra with the times of india about 18 years ago again with the intention to help people help people change their mindset help people think differently and my whole process, my journey has been to empower and help people, whether it's been as a woman, whether it's been for rights, whether it's been through health and wellness, whether it's thought processes. So the pandemic was just a trigger for people to understand how important wellness is in every aspect of their life. And it suddenly got more focused for sure. Um, today, wellness is no longer a buzzword. It's a way of life. People want to be well. People are making healthier life choices. People are careful about what they're wearing, about what they're drinking, about how they're eating, about how they're sleeping. So about what is the advice that you give people? 
I don't give people advice. I give people options. Okay, options. Because the worst thing to do is tell people what to do. You can empower them by giving them an array of things and saying, it isn't a one size fits all. Okay. There are different things for different people and you will instinctively gravitate to what you feel is the best for you. So say for example in my cafe, I'm not saying, oh, you have to be vegan, you have to be vegetarian. No, there's chicken, but there's antibiotic free chicken, there's cage free eggs. Um, you know, if we have vegan, vegan does not mean healthy. So awareness. Vegan just means that it's without any animal product including honey, right? So uh, vegan can also mean meda, vegan can mean deep fried. So vegan doesn't necessarily have to be a healthier choice. So empowering people with knowledge and allowing them to make their choices. That is the and also do you, you know you've spoken about the uh, the buddhist influence also so d do you also encourage in their workshops do you do have like meditation classes would you encourage people in today's world to just pause take a breath and just you know spend time with yourself um, my courses are a lot deeper than that in the sense that i spend a large part of the course the workshop actually giving people the knowledge in a very scientific manner that they understand the meditation when they get to it. It's not just about, oh, shut your eyes, take a deep breath, because the moment you come out of that, you go back into your life and you forget about it. And you're going back into your blur. So the whole purpose of my workshops is to empower you to start seeing the logic of what you're going to be doing in that meditation. And then that meditation is so powerful when I, especially if I put people into, from a beta brainwave state into an alpha brainwave state explain or in a theta brainwave state. Please explain what this is. <laughs> it sounds like a physics formula. <laughs> so it's very simple. Like right now, if you're sitting at your office, for example, alpha, a beta brainwave state is when you're basically working and you're thinking, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to eat this, I need to do that, this is my schedule for the day, ta 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 beta. When you're in the shower, for example, you're just sitting peacefully and suddenly you get those intuitive moments, a thought will come to you, an idea will come to you or a solution comes to you because you're much more relaxed. That's when your brain has gone to an alpha brain wave state. They're basically different frequencies. Below that is theta. You go into theta for very deep healing and when you sleep at night, you enter the theta brain wave state. So these are all different. Then there's delta and then there's gamma. So there's these different brain wave states you go into. So when you basically take a person into their from beta you take somebody into an alpha or then low into a theta it's almost hypnotic in a way because your brain waves have gone to a point that are totally receptive and open to accessing knowledge so and and for change and it is the best way to actually access your subconscious mind which is the most powerful tool for change so it, it, i mean a simple thing like louis hey you create your own disease by the way you think how your emotions respond and then how your body receives that emotion. So you create your disease, you can uncreate your disease. Medical science puts you on, on, on a pill and says, for so example, if you're diabetic, medical science puts you onto a pill and says, now you're diabetic, you have to take insulin for the rest of your life and makes you insulin dependent. Alternative sciences shows you how to get off that dependency. That's the difference in alternative and medical sciences. Well, I can think of a lot of politicians I want to send to you if you can actually make them change their mind and <laughs> do something positive. But uh, a bit about your you know, film career, you recently appeared on Netflix on the Masaba, uh, that series. Yeah. Uh, what else is, and do you miss the big screen and uh, <laughs> all right, what are the plans? So, being famous is great because it got me the eyeballs for Happy Soul to be noticed and for people to think about, oh, what's Pooja doing? Oh, Happy Soul, what is Happy Soul? So it got me the eyeballs. Yeah. I was a terrible actress, according to me. I was great I at don't being sexy. So. I think I was great <laughs> at being sexy. I showed my cleavage. You all got so distracted, you all didn't look at what the acting was doing. So, <laughs> so my daughter is a fabulous actress. My daughter takes talent to another level. So I'd rather leave that to her and her space. <laughs> As when they get a role that I feel I can do justice to, I take it all. Like the Masaba role was very me. I thought it was great fun and I thought I'd do justice to that role. But just randomly going in and playing a character which I'm not, I really don't have the bandwidth for that or the talent for that matter for that as well. So why, why force it? I, there's so many things I'm good at doing. Let me focus on those. What I'm hearing is someone who's so comfortable just being herself. <laughs> I think that's the best advertisement for you. You're a happy soul, Pooja. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, since you're an insider, where do you see the you know world of films, especially with OTTs coming in? There is a lot more. I'm seeing a lot of docudramas, a lot of realism coming into you know um, uh, uh, the movies and the film cinema that is being made. Is that something that you, uh, you know you would like to watch? You're happy with? Well, uh, the good part is again options, right, should be made available to you. When I was growing up, there were these big screens mm. and if a 
love story works that you had only love stories being made yes. action yes. film works only action films started getting made yeah. and that's all you were subjected to in these very large screens that they had to fill the moment the multiplexes came in with the smaller screens suddenly theaters uh, suddenly the, the the role of cinema changed you were able to make more experimental films try different genres try different styles you had like a vicky donor coming out you had movies which are so different yeah, uh -huh. that people you have never made that for a big screen audience ever Correct. so now suddenly the opportunity to make these amazing films and there were audiences for them that lapped it up right so you realized decided where it was going to be released where the screens were that specific audience for it etc so now when you have ott come into the picture especially during covid because everyone got addicted to these online platforms right like let's watch these amazing it's at your, it's just in your house and everyone's just watching it and got con they became the greatest consumers of ott and now in fact getting them back into the theaters is a problem because they're so used to watching it in their home they don't want to go out and make the effort and spend the money and they have to dress up and they have to go travel and you find parking and then you have to buy the popcorn and you know it's it's a hassle suddenly for people to go back into the theaters so i see the future actually being ott um and the brilliant part is again choices imagine the amount of tailor made choices you have to to satisfy your kind of cinema your kind of the pro product you'd like to be watching you know when you for example now on the phone there's ai going on um you're talking about say babies and this and that and suddenly ads start popping up on your phone regarding babies know, because ma. it's so smart it understands what you're speaking it picks up all that you're saying so i think it's great because it's tailor made for you i'd rather have that something i'm talking about and interested in showing up as an ad rather than something completely random that disconnected from me i'd like to have those options presented to me tailor made for me the same with ott how wonderful that we have so much content that we can tune into that we relate to that we would like to see before on television you were subjected to saas bahu dramas non stop you never choice you went to the same rhetoric the same drama the same two 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 three shots happening you know and you were like kya 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 you know and it was like oh god and if you wanted to change a channel the same thing was happening ott you have options so this is the beauty of choices well said uh, a bit about uh, back to the wellness uh, uh, you know for instance if you have a headache what do you do do you take a crocin or do you do some alpha beta theta <laughs> <laughs> well i i i'm into holistic wellness so as much as possible i do stay away from the medical um, uh, sciences i would definitely put my feet in hot water i would turn my head over get a massage at the back of my neck stimulate nerve endings that's more me um you know uh, to do that sort of thing however if i have a very big meeting coming up and have a throbbing headache for some reason first you understand why i have the throbbing headache in the first place you know not that i have a headache but why do i have the bloody headache to sit and analyze and interpret the nature of the body the nature of the mind the nature of what i've eaten or is it you know what led to that headache that takes a bit of time but if you have a terrible terribly important meeting coming up or say for example i'm shooting or something requires my attention and i need to be focused i wouldn't hesitate to pop a pill if i had to um because it's important and because it lends to the day that needs me to perform in a certain manner so i'm not i'm not i'm not um averse to to med uh, i think medical science has a very definite place in our society if you're having a heart attack you're not going to turn to alternative sciences and what am i going to do you got to go to the hospital and get operated and put a stent in your heart if you need to you know and then work on why the why it happens so it doesn't occur again and to heal yourself faster you know our show is called we women want so i want to ask you a question which every woman wants i know i had the discussion earlier saying why is size zero normal but heart of heart we all want to be that size zero so do you have some recipe for losing weight some meditation some well you know in the world in the world of alternative sciences we say when you put on weight is because you're holding on to things okay and you have to learn to learn to let go there's so much we hold on to whether it's emotions whether it's memories whether it's thoughts you look around your house see how much clutter there is in your house you're holding on to things you have to learn to let go once you start the way you do one thing is the way you do everything so the process of decluttering your life decluttering your home decluttering your cupboards leads to the decluttering of your body you know and a lot of fat for example is based on toxins so if you get rid of your toxins you tend to lose weight a lot faster sleep is so important to losing weight because when you don't sleep much your stress stress causes toxins toxins leads to a build up of fat accumulations around those cells because it tends your body wants to protect itself so all you have to do is learn to sleep well learn to rest learn to eat right you know um exercise do yourself a favor your body is your vehicle it's going to take you through entire journey of life why don't you want to be good to it 
why would you want to abuse it why would you want to unnecessarily yes if something's nice have a samosa there's no reason to have three you know <laughs> you know yes have the butter chicken but don't have it every day you know so um and also this concept of guilt like don't have something call it a cheat meal we all have this they they have been very good all week i'll have the cheat uh-huh. meal you know again you're associating it with guilt say i'm going to have a treat meal i'm going to treat myself to this butter chicken i'm going to treat myself to this to this amazing cheese naan or whatever i'm going to treat myself because i love it and i deserve it my body's craving it i'm going to give it to myself so it comes uh, the way it's consumed into your body the way it's received by your body the way digest to your body is a completely different process so i think we have a whole lot of fashion designers in the audience but i think pooja's mantra is not spend so much on the outside but the inside be right <laughs> I mean it's very important to be well dressed too I mean jo dikhta hai wo bikhta hai you know <laughs> that is true so i'm just going to put the fashion design on the vision you <laughs> but thank you so much uh, for puja for coming here and really giving us a very happy half hour conversation thank you. and we're going to come and try happy soul soon thank you look forward bye thank, thank you. you so much Thank you so much uh, Pooja Bedi for joining us today at the We Women Want Shakti Awards 2023 I'm sure you've inspired a lot of people not just women to look inwards and uh, look at your health from within For more such videos subscribe to the Newsx YouTube channel hit the bell icon